Hello students, so today we are going to do a practical on preparation of permanent slides. So today the discussion is I more about C than you, like what C. So in the preparation of permanent slides, the first thing you're going to need is these specimens. For monocot, we're taking a maize, and for dicot, we're taking a bean seed. In addition to the two specimens, you'll require forceps, needle, brush, a watch glass, slides, and filter paper. So the first thing we're going to do is, we're going to cut the longitudinal section of maize seed. So the maize seed, we're going to cut it in the longitudinal section. By longitudinal section, what it means is we're not going to cut it two equal but rather we're going to cut from the top to the bottom. So just take a look at this. First, I'm going to cut to the middle portion. So that I get two equal halves. Now, you can use either half. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut very thin sections. We're going to cut many such sections and then we're going to select the thinnest one. So after cutting many sections, we're going to select the thinnest one. So the thinnest one seems like this one. We're going to transfer this to a glass slide with the help of a brush. So just take a look at this one. If you look properly, on the inner side, you can see the plumule and the radicals over here. So we're going to observe this under a microscope. So this is what you're supposed to see after cutting the longitudinal section of the maize seed. So after the transfer of the section on a <coughs> slide, what you're going to do is slowly dry off the water with the help of a filter paper. Then place it under a microscope. So under a microscope, this is what you're supposed to see. I have already shown you the plumule and the radical, these two portions over here, which can slightly be observed. So look under the microscope more clearly, you can see this entire structure. 